Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Necromancy 101, the show where I teach you how to do necromancy from the comfort and ease of your own home. So, this first video out of the gate, I thought I would address the elephant in the room, and that is to say COVID-19. Now, some of you may be thinking, COVID-19, lots of people dying. What a great time to make zombies. You know, some people might pay you to bring their families back to life. You know, if, if you lost a family member, or father, brother, sister, mother, grandma, grandpa, resurrecting them as a COVID-19 zombie might seem like a great idea, especially if you're familiar with some of my past work and resurrecting sentient zombies, and you've been looking at that. And to that, I say, are you fucking nuts? Okay, first of all, you know, when you resurrect a zombie, you get everything back with it, all the bits. So if someone dies from, oh, I don't know, an incredibly infectious disease, and then they start walking around again, there's a chance, a big chance, that that disease is still active. You know, people in the hospitals, when they're dealing with the dead bodies... They actually have to worry about getting COVID from the dead bodies. And so if those dead bodies start walking around and just going places because, you know, they're fine because they're undead, that would be uh, a super spreader event right there. And we've already got one apocalypse going on right now. You know, thanks, COVID. And thanks, Mr. President. Uh, we don't need a zombie apocalypse, too, because... Despite everything you might have heard, zombie apocalypses are among the less desirable apocalypses. And in any case, we don't need two apocalypses going on simultaneously. One is fine. So, you know, don't make a COVID-19 zombie. And uh, welcome back, everybody.